Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be a collective Ulta haul. I have bought a couple things from Ulta in the past couple of months. I think my last Ulta haul was back in June and I've purchased a few things over the course of those months and I wanted to share them all with you. I think I finally have enough products that I can do like a full haul. The first thing I have is something I got in my most recent purchase. It was a gift with purchase. It's this cute little pink suede bag and it's just full of goodies in here. It has a ton of full-size products in here. In that bag there is a Leader's Mediterranean Olive face mask. I've actually never used a sheet mask before so I'm excited to try this. There is a Ulta lip gloss, little mini lip gloss. There are these really cute press-on nails. I've always been curious to try these and they look like they'd be really cute for like New Year's or something, right? There is a Murad Renewal Night Cream Sample. There is a generous sample of the Unwashed Bio Cleansing Conditioner, which you guys know I'm a really big fan of this. There is a little mini Smashbox lipstick in here. Really pretty color. And yeah, just a lot of really nice like travel size products to try out. Anything that's not cruelty free, I'll probably just give to my mom or something. Oh, and there's also a little The Body Shop Drops of Youth sample. I've been curious to try this too, so I'm excited. Um, that that's just kind of like a free thing that comes with it and I love the little bag that comes with it It's kind of like what swayed me to add a couple more dollars to my order to get that for free Ulta really knows what they're doing. I have a lot of things from Pacifica I've been really curious to try a lot of things from that brand lately So I'm gonna start with the three roller balls that I got um, These were on sale one week. They were like half off. So they were only six dollars So I grabbed a bunch of them. I grabbed the Hawaiian patchouli berry one. This one's actually empty. I showed it to my mom. I had worn it a couple times and I showed it to my mom and she really liked it. So I just gave it to her. Same with the French lilac from Pacifica. These are all really nice scents. I'm a big fan of both of these. So I'm just going to buy more or maybe a full size of both of these once they're on sale again. And then the one that I still have is the Persian rose one. And I really like this scent as well. If you don't like rose, you're not going to like it, but I like rose. Yeah, very fresh and clean. I like it. It's definitely a good summer into fall transition scent. So I'm glad I have at least one left of the three. <laughs> and then I have two skincare products from Pacifica. This one is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. It's for all skin types. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I think a lot of Pacifica's pro products are vegan. I think maybe all of them are. And this was like 16 bucks though, and it's just a little guy. Um, it's just a regular face cream. It doesn't have any SPF in it. It says it's made with powerful antioxidants and flora cell complex with concentrated floral stem cells. And it looks like that. It's not super thick. Definitely just makes my hand feel moisturized and nice. It has a stronger like floral smell though. Not sure how big of a fan I am of that but it seems to be dissipating, absorbing really quickly. So it doesn't seem like it would be a really heavy product. So this does seem like a good daytime moisturizer. I'm trying to find other moisturizers because as much as I love the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, it's like $25 or something. It's expensive for, you know, how little product you get. And so I kind of want to find some other moisturizers that I like just as much, just so I don't burn through the Glossier one as quickly. I also got the Pacifica Coconut probiotic water rehab cream. I finally got my hands on it. I was just waiting for it to go on sale. I hear that this is a really close dupe to the Hangover Primer by, by Too Faced, and so I wanted to give it a try. I think I'm going to go and, ooh, this is rich feeling. It's like thin, but rich. Mmm, smells nice. Smells like light coconut. Very light and faint, but nice. I think it might be a tad less watery than the Too Faced one, but I'm going to go get a sample of that and see if these two kind of compete with each other, if they're considered dupes or not. I'm excited to try that one out. And that one I think was also $16, so it was buy one, get one half off, so I think together they were like 20 something dollars, which isn't too bad. Pacifica is kind of like a mid-range uh, skincare brand in my opinion, price-wise at least. I needed a new hairspray that was cruelty free, so I got the Palm Mitchell Ahuapui Wild Ginger hairspray, and it's a finishing spray technically, which is all I need. Um, I just use something to kind of calm down the like cowlicks and the extra like extra hairs that I have jumping out, especially right here and like along my hairline. So I just needed something that was like kind of middle of the road. I don't need too much hold, but I just wanted to have a hairspray on hand, and this one is nice. I've used it a couple times. 
It doesn't really smell like ginger to me. It just smells like regular hairspray. So if you were worried that it was going to be really strong of ginger, it's not. It's fine and it's good so far. I got a couple Ulta brand things. I got the Refreshing Gel Eye Mask by Ulta Beauty. I think this was like $3, but I think I got it on sale somehow. So it was like around $150, which isn't bad for eye gel patches. I've never tried those before, but I know that they can get pretty expensive. I heard Emily Noel talking about them and saying that they are very cooling and nice to use and the fact that they're very affordable. I just wanted to give them a shot. And then I also have this. I've already used one of them. It's the Ulta Beauty Makeup Removing Towels. And if you guys remember, I tried one from Human and Kind in my last haul, and I actually really like those. I thought I'd try these. These ones from Ulta are crazy soft. It is like so plush. I still like the idea of using a actual towel that you can wash and reuse instead of like using a new wipe every single time and throwing it away. So I'll give you guys more updates on that in the future. I also have an EcoTools Perfect Blender Duo. It doesn't have the little stand. You guys know I love the stand, but I have one and that's enough. I wanted to get this because number one, I already know I like the green sponge, but I wanted to try the little yellow guy as well. I just hear good things about these sponges in general, so I wanted to give them a try. Oh, I have another Ulta product here. This one I'm actually kind of excited about. So you guys know about the color switch um, from Sephora. I don't remember what the brand is, but the Verona? I don't know. I don't remember. But Ulta just came out with their own version of it. And this, it's in this really cute little box. And then it has a black um, outside, very similar to the color switch. It's like a harder sponge. And then the inside actually has its own little tub of a removable sponge. And that one, apparently you're supposed to get that one wet. And then you can use it whenever you... Um, want to like wet your eyeshadows you can wet your brush in here and then apply the eyeshadow and kind of give yourself a more foiled effect I thought that was really cool I've used it a couple times and it works pretty well it's a cute little box I also I don't have it in here anymore but it's the NYX uh, makeup sponge and it's it's a black sponge and I got this on the website because I couldn't find it in the store and I've been wanting to try it to compare to the other uh, cruelty free sponges that I have and I've only used it once or twice and I don't know if it's just because it's still new but it's a little bit more dense and like a little bit tougher than the Ulta ones or the Real Techniques ones or the Beauty Blenders. I don't have a full review for you yet. So far I like it. It's the same kind of shape as the Beauty Blender. It's kind of just like a teardrop shape. It's so far so good but not as soft as like the Ego Tool sponges or other sponges that I've used in the past. And then the last two products I have are from Andalou Naturals. They're two products that I have been wanting to try for a long time and I kind of just bit the bullet and got them. I got the glycolic mask the pumpkin honey one from andalou naturals it's a little bit smaller than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> oh it smells good it smells like pumpkin and honey that's nice and if you can see it's kind of like a thinner gel i was hoping it would be a dupe for the peter thomas roth pumpkin enzyme mask if you guys remember that one it was really popular a while ago and i think it still is i wanted to find a cruelty free version of this so i haven't used it yet i'll let you guys know if i like it if it's worth it and because Andalou Naturals was buy one get one half off, I took that opportunity to try the illuminating toner with vitamin C. And I kind of like the idea of having a spray toner. It's in a big bottle. You get six ounces. It's got a nice spray. If you guys can see that. It smells very orangey. I like that. I think that would be really nice to use in the morning. So I'm excited to try that one out. And that is everything I have for the haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you would like me to do a separate review on or if you want me to give a follow-up on any of those in particular. A lot of those I plan on talking about in future videos and I bought them specifically to review. And I also know that that seemed like a lot, but that was kind of a collective haul over the course of a couple months. So I just bought like a couple things at a time. And yeah, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.